I find it interesting that in, in my Reno County Hutchinson Hospital, <clears throat> we saw this you know, bizarre response and shutting out families and, and forcing treatments on people that they didn't want. And, and the culmination of that ultimately was that every hospital administrator was fired and the doctors who participated left. But what we never had, what we've never had is an apology. And I've always thought, man, that is just so odd that we have not had an apology for this aberrant, inappropriate behavior. Would, would either of the opponents be willing to apologize on behalf of their associations today for the, the mistakes in, in judgment and, 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 and mean-spirited care that was provided during that per time period? Well, I appreciate your question, and I represent physicians, individuals, some employed, some in private practice, not all in hospital situations. I don't know of a single physician who enjoyed or, or um, thought it was easy to navigate COVID, regardless of the practice setting they were in. They, I'm sure you know this as a physician. You go into practice because you want to take care of people and don't always have all the resources that are necessary. Um, and I don't think anyone would uh, say that they wanted anybody to have a bad outcome, lose their life, or not have access to their loved ones. There were many, many variables outside of everyone's control during that time. But I don't think that, I think the medical community has learned a lot and that we do, like I said, understand why there is a desire to have something established so that should we go through another pandemic, um, that there are reasonable policies put in place that would allow for people to be with their loved ones at end of life. Senator Thompson. Oh. So the answer is no, you're not willing to apologize on behalf of your association, correct? I don't think it would be appropriate for me to make a statement for other individuals. 